हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल वर्ड ऑफ या डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ एमल ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेटा टाइप दैट इज लिस्ट हाउ वी कैन राइट लिस्ट डेटा टाइप इन यामल ओके सो इन यामल लिस्ट आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एर ओके आर यूज टू ए स्टोर ऑर्डर सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ वैल्यू लिस्ट कैन कॉन्टेंट वैल्यू ऑफ वेरियस डेटा टाइप इंक्लूडिंग स्ट्रिंग नंबर बुलियन एंड नेस्टेड स्ट्रक्चर लाइक अदर लिस्ट डायरेक्टरीज लिस्ट आर फंडामेंटल वे टू रिप्रजेंट कलेक्शन ऑफ द आइटम इन यामल ओके लिस्ट लिस्ट इन यामल आर रिप्रजेंटेड यूजिंग ए स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट एंड वैल्यू विद इन द लिस्ट आर सेपरेटेड यूजिंग कॉमा ओके सो वी हैव फर्स्ट टाइप इज सिंपल लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग ओके let me go here in vs code and string data data type dot am so how we can write simple let me write this as a simple list okay suppose if you have fruit like if you have fruit and in the fruit you have like various fruit like apple orange banana or something like that so you can write how fruit you can write fruits then you can pass double quotes you can pass hyphen then you can write the fruit name like a w b apple then you can pass again you can write mango you can write banana you can write kiwi you can write grapes okay so this way you can pass the list and you can create list okay so you have like this one is the key and this one is the value in the form of list okay these all are the value in the form of list and this one is our key okay so suppose if you have a uh, students what we can do how we can write it students then we have to sorry we have to give double space then we have to use hyphen then you can write the name of the students okay you can write sorry i didn't use the space here so why it's giving the error so you can write the like list of a string simple string in this way okay in yaml okay so what we have another type so data type that is list so we have another list of number so we can also define uh, like list of number in yaml okay so how we can write it so let me list of numbers okay so we can write numbers okay then how we can write it we have to use a square bracket we have to write 1 2 3 4 5 or many more you can write like this okay if you have to pass any number okay then you have to use the square bracket then you have to use a comma to separate them okay so that's what we have seen here right then again we have another uh, data type that is mix mix list okay 
so that will have that will uh, have like uh, a string so and sorry that will have a string and the number as well okay so how we can write it <coughs> mix data type okay so i am going to comment it just i am writing that so you can easily understand what i what i am writing here okay so like suppose you have class sorry class okay and and you are and you are writing like uh, a list of that specific student so you are writing all the information of that uh, student like name sorry so uh, you are writing like rahul right then you are writing is age like 2016 okay then you are writing his uh, standard like uh, seventh standard right you can write like this so as you can see we are passing a string as well okay and we are passing number as well okay so here we have key and that is class and we have the value in a string and as number as well okay so this way we can pass mixed data type list in our yaml file okay so let's go back to the document here so another type we have list of list okay so that is known as nested list okay so how we can write it so let me show you nested we can write like group okay we can write group we can give hyphen here we have to use column and you can give 2 3 4 the same way so same way we have to write another like uh, we have to pass the comma sorry hyphen then we have to write 89 something like that any digit you can give So whatever your requirement is according to that you can pass this value okay so this one is the nested like like because we have um like multiple list of a string here right as you can see this list having two three uh three uh, list of data another um row having three list of data we can pass okay so this way we can write the nested data type in our yaml file okay so that's it for this video I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any query then please do let me know in the comment section and if you are new then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and you can check my other playlist as well that I have created for AWS from scratch okay thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video